This scenic land of ancient treasures and grand tradition is Peru, the country that conjures images of Inca gold, Spanish conquistadors, and lost cities. Now, this historic country hosts a modern tradition, an international fiesta. <laughs> capital and gateway to the third largest country in South America is a modern city that cherishes its historic traditions. Founded in 1535 by the conquistador Pizarro, the city was Spain's controlling stronghold of the Americas for almost three centuries. Originally called the City of Kings, Lima exudes the lavish style of Moorish Spain. The presidential palace, with its ceremonial changing of the guard, is Peru's governmental center. Inside the elegant palace, President Fernando Balaunde hosts an official state reception and personally welcomes the delegates of the first Miss Universe pageant to be held in South America. The beauty delegates from 77 countries are here not only to compete, but also to learn more about this land and its people. Along with the many plazas and gardens, Lima has a variety of famous museum collections, art galleries, and exciting nightlife. The contestants visit the Indian markets in search of native crafts and unique bargains. But they find the sweetest deal in town at the local candy factory. For pre-taped segments of the show, the contestants and camera crews travel throughout the country so they can share their experiences in Peru with a worldwide television audience. Outside Lima, they tour the celebrated pre-Nican sanctuary of Pachacama. This sun temple was built over five centuries ago and was once filled with huge golden idols. It is said that caches of gold are still hidden within the walls. Back in Lima, they visit the gallery of the Peruvian sculptor Victor Delfin, famous for his works in bronze. Later, they're treated to an exhibition of the Peruvian Paso horse. The prize-winning breed, world famous for its dancing gait, becomes part of the pageant as the contestants display their equestrian skills for the cameras. Their activities are always followed by the International Press Corps. Each Miss Universe candidate is a celebrity in her own right, and the media follows her progress to keep the world and her home country well informed. Always in the limelight, the contestants sample Lima's exciting nightlife in one of the many discotheques. The ceremonies open with the Parade of Nations. Each contestant wears a costume representing her country and presents the host nation with gifts from her home. The best national costume trophy is presented by Miss Universe President Harold L. Glasser to Miss Peru, Francesca Zaza. Special trophies are awarded to the one selected by the press photographers as Miss Photogenic, Ava Burke from the Bahamas, and Miss Amity, Miss Cayman Islands, Teresa Lewis. still much to see before the pageant finals and the contestants travel from Lima to Peru's southern region. In Eric
Arequipa, known as the White City, the houses, churches, and monasteries are built with the white stone from nearby volcanoes. Arequipa's unique character and tranquil setting make it a charming attraction for visitors to Peru. The city in all its whiteness is set like an oasis in the mountainous Andean desert. In Peru's northern region, the Amazon River flows through tropical forests which cover nearly half of Peru. From the trade center of Iquitos, the contestants begin their river tour into the green world of the Amazon. Readily accessible by riverboat or airplane, the area is complete with exotic flowers, wildlife, and intriguing riverside villages. Some 50 tribes of jungle dwellers populate the region. This tribe joins the spirit of the Miss Universe pageant by inviting the friendly worldwide delegates to share their customs and crafts. present behind the scenes is the international television crew. They meet the rigors of shooting in remote locations and add to the constant excitement of the pageant preparations. Their next destination is the ancient city of Cusco, located over two miles high in the Andean Mountains. Once the capital of the Inca Empire, Cusco was the El Dorado of Spanish tales, the city of gold and silver. The Spaniards, lured by the riches, conquered the city and built upon the ruins. Today, Cusco is a veritable museum of early Spanish architecture, but retains much of its Indian essence. Many of the natives continue to wear the 15th century styles of their ancestors, and the merchants sell traditional crafts of handmade murals, pottery, and alpaca clothing. The Spanish colonial churches are regarded as the finest examples in the Western Hemisphere. Outside the city, the serene continuity of the native Indian lifestyle is most pervasive. Overlooking Cusco are the ruins of the once megalithic Zaxawaman fortress. Without the knowledge of the wheel or iron tools, the Incas constructed these walls. The largest stone is estimated to weigh as much as 360 tons, and their construction is so precise that a knife cannot be placed between them. Also surviving alongside the Inca walls is the Inca's Festival of the Sun. The Inca Raimi Festival is performed annually for thousands of spectators. The authentic costumes and dances recall the pageantry of old. Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas, remains a city of mystery. Little is known of the ancient sun worshippers who disappeared from here over five centuries ago. Until its discovery in 1911, the city was hidden high in the Andes under centuries of vegetation. Scholars and tourists are drawn from the world over to marvel at this monument to the ingenuity of the Incas. Returning to Lima and the dramatic cliffs of Santa Maria Beach, the on-location swimsuit taping begins. Lima's resort and waterfront areas provide the backdrops for the segment that showcases all the contestants in Lima's diverse scenery. The Los Chorillos section of the city offers its piers a promenade. The busy harbor serves the many limeños who make fishing one of Peru's largest industries. In the Mira 
Robert Flores section, the Naval Lighthouse dominates the background. The preparations for the night of the pageant are nearly complete. In a salute to the people of Peru, the 77 contestants return to the Plaza de Armas in their final public appearance before the 1982 Miss Universe pageant, live from Lima, Peru. Over 600 million people are watching the drama and excitement of the pageant competition as it is beamed via satellite from Lima's Amato Theater to homes around the world. have been selected, and they appear on stage in their official Catalina swimsuits. Each competes for the most prestigious of all beauty titles, Miss Universe. The 1982 title holder receives more than $150,000 in cash and prizes, including a sports car, a speedboat, a five-star diamond pendant, a mink coat, and a complete wardrobe. Also in store is a year full of excitement, travel, and personal appearances. The choice of the winner is delegated to the distinguished panel of international celebrity judges. Legendary Broadway producer David Merrick. Cicely Tyson, Emmy Award-winning actress. Mario Vargas Llosa, internationally acclaimed Peruvian author. Actress and producer Beulah Quo, best known for her role as the Empress in the television series Marco Polo. Ron Duguay, National Hockey League All-Star player. Franco Nero, one of the world's most versatile actors. Five-time Emmy Award-winning television host Peter Marshall. French actress Carol Bouquet, the latest of the James Bond beauties. Internationally celebrated watercolorist Don Kingman. Princess Era von Furstenberg, actress, businesswoman, and writer. Dynamic showman and magician David Copperfield. Peru's Miss Universe of 1957, Gladys Zender de May. All the contestants join actor and singing star Rex Smith in a musical tribute to Peru. Kept their faces well hidden from view. Judging continues with the elegant evening gown competition. Although only one will win the coveted title and crown, each contestant returns home with the victory of having participated in this event and with the memories of her opportunity to see this wonderful country and cultivate new friendships.
before the awaited announcement of the winner, traditions of Peru come alive on stage as the folkloric ballet performs. Final announcement. Fourth runner-up, Miss USA, Terry Utley. Third runner-up, Miss Greece, Tina Russo. Second runner-up, Miss Italy, Cinzia Fiordaponte. And the first runner-up is Miss Guam, Patty Curtis. The 1982 Miss Universe is Miss Canada. For 18-year-old Karen Baldwin, her dreams have come true. Thank you.